trying to say. Okay. So, uh... We'll see, we'll see We'll see how things pay off in the real bracket. I mean, sometimes it's up to Komei to figure out, like, okay, this is what happened during the friendlies, right? And then when you get to bracket, you kind of try to implement that as much as possible. Mm. Did, uh... Oh, right, no. He did play Kamehame, but Kamehame didn't go Wario. He went Mega Man. Well, the thing about it, too, is, like, I just found out last night, like, some of these... The, I'm, it's obvious right now to some people watching back at home, like, some of the Japanese players are from different regions, like, Komei and T are from Osaka. So they're from entirely different areas, some of the Japanese players. So they always don't get to play. Yeah. There's always good old Wi-Fi, though. Anyways. They actually have good Wi-Fi, too. <laughs> don't, don't remind me. It's actually good. Yeah, right? Don't remind me. All right, anyways, let's get into it. Anyway. Double three neutral edge here. Get Tawaro off the bike. And hopefully for Komei, he's going to be able to figure out how he's going to continue to go ahead and press his advantage against Gluttony. The one thing I'm liking here, a little bit of whip punishes, and then the switch to jump art, having that extra jump height to try to avoid any, avoid any of Wario's areas as well. Mm. He's kind of just jumping over Wario's areas at this point. Yeah, it's uh, he has the range to keep Wario out, but the startup of his moves is kind of long. So Wario... I don't know, I feel like Warrior can still get in if he's not timing his moves really well. Like that Nair is actually really hard to get past though. Oh, gonna be. I like that one. Switching into jump art gets an extra height. Once again, that same game plan we saw earlier, right? He's able to actually get over Wario and then use that to advantage. Speed art kind of decrease the jump height, but one thing he'll be able to do is have the speed over. I like the fact that every time he finds Gluttony around him, he's actually facing away from him so he can go for a back air. Yeah, back air in like the first hit of uh, neutral air. This is really good to space with mm -hmm. Shogun, as you can see. But, uh, I like, I do like how you said this earlier, right? That's the story. They, they both played friendlies with each other for a couple of hours, right? And then now we're kind of seeing Komei put that into practice, right? Okay, if he's going to be coming in, I want the whip punish. I want to go ahead and stuff out your aerial, but Gluttony gets the first attempt here off the stage. Oh, sets what's going to do with this bike? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, man, Shogun has some range. He's good. Could be looking for setting up for the up tilt or the forward tilt or the or the Tom Hop grab. But do you see the empty oh. hop there? Wow, that was a really clutch shield switch. Nice once again, facing away. Falling, oh, I was gonna say falling forward there maybe, but. All right, he's oh. gonna go for the back throw. Uh, he has the wrap too, but I, he definitely doesn't want to use to take this stock. He does way too high percent. But oh my goodness, he got over there just because he had the speed art to get all the way to the uh, other side of the stage really fast. I did like how he kind of stalled himself there, holding on the Monado art, and then switched the shield. Whoa, that was a little very risky. Brave. Very brave. Oh, uh, he's yeah, he should be dying from that. Oh, uh, we got ten percent. Not too much of a leap, but uh, yeah, Koma is definitely. Learned some things from when they were playing earlier. Because before, he was just, it was not going well for him at all. Uh, one thing that Glennie, like, he asked Glennie for, like, some tips after he was losing so much. And Glennie basically said, uh, oh, no way. No, he's okay. he's Yeah, I, I was say, he can still switch to jump art and then make it up with the up B. Yeah, but uh, basically, Glennie said that uh, you play a little bit too patiently when having to deal with a character like Wario who just builds up the lap over time. So yeah. like basically Glennie took every stock from uh Oh no. Oh, oh okay, a okay. Good that was a great yeah. last second switch. Yeah. He he recognized because I was gonna say like he got killed by WAP so many times by Glennie. Oh no, the bike actually messed up that oh and he died to up smash for that, it. That was good pressure, I'm not gonna lie, even though the bike messed it up, right? Glennie kinda understood like, oh. okay. Let me yeah. take victory from the feet here and then call out the out of shield option and then take the stock. Let me waiting for the angel platform here and waiting for one of the arts to actually run out. Good stuff. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. I just, the one thing Cohen is doing here that's working out for him really well is not only is he playing around the WAP much better, but he's also just applying much more pressure. Like, he's not just letting Wario just kind of out camp him for free and just build up the WAP without, you know, any real challenge to it. So, mm -hmm. it's definitely working out for his favor right now. But he's got a... Oh, I, okay, I respect that opportunity because he didn't want to go for attack. And then public attack chase, so Komei kind of held a little bit left. Good empty hop, almost gets the up tilt or the up air. Oh my god, this bike is so scary. Every time I see Komei jumping when he's throwing it, I just oh. get worried for him. But okay, he's getting thrown off the stage now. Oh, oh, no tech chase. Nice, once again, looking for that whiff punish. I feel like that's what the Komei wants, right? That range to continuously whiff punish Glenny. He doesn't have much of an option but to go for bike, so... Great spot dodge, forward, forward throw. This oh. is the setup here. If he gets the right opportunity, he could get the stock here, but time is running out for Smash Heart. Good, good call out. Switching to jump out, he will still take more knockback. You do become a, a pretty good floaty here. 
Once again. Oh, good pressure on the platform. Nice punch in the bike. Where's he gonna go here, though? Speed Let was me. the kind of the MVP that took the stock the last time they kind of played it out here. Oh no, jab it didn't work. Oh. oh, he caught the jump. I feel. I feel like that's what it was. He caught the jump from the jab. Huh. It happens, man. Sometimes your first option is to not even grab the ledge, just get get the heck out of the situation here. And Komi okay. just went for the jumps. Didn't even finish the third hit. Yeah. Yeah, he was mashing air dodge too. So. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Wow. I, I respect it from Gluttony because at this point, right, he didn't want to be in that edge situation because he knows how, how Kome is. Like you said, right, the, the, the tail of these two players here, they've been practicing all day at the at their rooms. So now that they're here in the bracket where it really, really matters here, they're kind of just implementing counterplay to one another, and it seems that Kome has got the real adaptation so far. Mm. So far. We'll see how Gluttony can do it, man. I want to count out him just yet. Yeah, Gluttony is one of the best players in the world and one of the, like, most adaptive players I know of, too, so... I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, yeah, again, Kome's playing around the left much better than he was, uh, uh, at least when I saw them playing. Yeah. All right, so game one, still best two out of three here, so uh, Kome only have to win one more, move on, and we're in semis. Now, okay, great switch to shield art, though. Able to just take a couple more hits. Yeah. Gotta be careful, though. He's fine getting punched there in shield art. He won't take that much. Nice, he's looking to get over around and take center stage here. Buster Arts for the catch up and the extra oh. pressure. But you gotta watch out, that downer oh, is so good. But being without a jump is like being without a paddle, but he's able to reach it with a second hit of air slash. Yeah, I like the choice to reverse air slash too, just to get him off him a little bit. Not only that, give him that extra boost, right? Because he does uh, ascend a little bit higher from the second hit, and he's facing away too, so he's able to grab the ledge just like that. Oh, missed the grab. Yeah, First he's, hit uh, only. he's overshooting the ledge a lot uh, on these up Bs, and Glennie's taking the free punches all day. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, man, Wario with the like Stockley without having to rely on the left is just so scary. Is now uh, he can like snowball into it. Luckily, he has that shield art. The character, so the character, like you said, right? He does actually snowball in terms of damage, but snows balls right into the actual waft. So it's kind of one thing that Kome kind of has to understand. Like, okay, I got a couple minutes on the clock before he gets it. Backslash to get him actually off the bike. That was a solid play here. Yeah, a little crazy because like he doesn't even get the bonus knockback since he's facing towards him with the back, the backslash. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Did no. he catch the jump? You, yeah, he oh. caught the jump, but he's still able to air slash right back to the stage. And unfortunately, that roll will cost him some percent here and a little bit of advantage. Yeah, I like that Kome is recognizing the setups for Wack really well. He's like immediately switching to Shield Art just so he avoids it. Okay, he's uh, going to take an Air Slash here, but yeah, Wario pretty heavy. Without without a Smash Art, he's not going to die. He might be going for oh. down air? I would say, yeah, it's a Legend's pretty good option, even to fade it away a little bit. They still got the Spike Hitbox. Speed Art, decreased jump high, but he's able to use that back air at those ranges. I was going to say, one thing I might be seeing here is probably looking for an up tilt, but I like the fact that he finds a back air. Even seeing that Gluttony was trying to fade away from his forward air. Yeah, finally getting that stock, but still a really scary position to be in. Gluttony is also very patient as well. Like, he's not going to give Kome that many free openings here. And, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like Shulk like, approaching is just not as strong as a character. He feels like more like a zoning, like, walling out with aerials type character. Exactly. And, uh, I don't know, with, with Wario's, like, air mobility, like, how tricky his jumps are, it seems really difficult for Komei to even get in on Gluttony right now. The one thing that Shulk does have as a character in terms of design and, of course, overall, is his ability to actually just switch his auto arts. He switches properties, but it also allows Komei to kind of switch up his own paradigm and then decide when to be aggressive, when to be defensive. Unfortunately here, Gl uh, Gluttony is kind of catching up to that one. He switches his speed art, decreased jump height, like I said earlier. Yeah, oh. And what a great air slash to fade it a little way back just to grab the ledge. They don't want to get punished by Gluttony, especially with how hard the punch would have been. Yeah, Cohen's still not giving up on this stock here. Uh, he might still have enough time to switch to shield art just to stay alive a little bit longer, but he's still, he has to do a lot more in neutral to just make up this percent lead. Oh yeah, my god, oh. we're all back. Unfortunately, uh, I kind of got caught in the startup frames of uh, neutral air. Like it waits oh, for it, but unfortunately, the roll. roll get up, yeah. yeah Glenny again, proving how strong he is when it comes to the patient game. Just waiting out that defensive option at the ledge, getting the free punish. And uh, yeah, this is a scary spot to be in. He still has the wrapped online. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I mean, Cohen's playing around it is still really well, switching the shards. Oh, oh, fire. Oh, that will definitely be it. He won't be able to reach it. Oh. And he puts in the waft right <laughs> from there, man. He sends a oh message. Oh, my God. All He's right.
He's like, hold on, man. We're not even playing friendlies anymore. This is actual serious competition. Give me some respect. Damn. You, you that was disrespectful. That was real. disrespectful. Man. Now, my question here is, right, we're seeing we're seeing Kome doing a pretty good job, but this is a great example of how you talked about how Wario's damage and as a character begins to snowball you, right? You have to worry about the waft, especially when you lose a stock lead. And Kome was down two stocks against Gluttony, so that was kind of one of those things, right, where, like, it just got snowballed from there. The damage and not only that having to worry about waft. Yeah, even, like, not even him using the waft, just having it there, there's still so much fear in your opponent. They just don't want to approach you. They want to make any more mistakes. They mm -hmm. know if they just one mistake, at least that combo, and dead at a really early percent. And but, then... Uh, it kind of comes back to game one too, because game one he kind of played played around the waft and he played around a lot of Gluttony's damage and his approaches. Yeah. I don't know. Kohei hasn't really felt uh, susceptible to it just yet, like the the waft in general. I like it. He's a little bit of fun. Now you t you told me earlier, right? Uh, Kohei is a math teacher. Yeah, he is actually. He's a math teacher. So Kohei is a math teacher. How, I wonder if you like. This is obviously in everybody's minds right like hey man what do, what do you do how do you practice smash oh you know yeah that's play, true he's like so good for having like a job like a teacher you know yeah he, it seems like a pretty busy job but that's, that's why he's not unable to travel unfortunately that, yeah, for those of you guys true. wondering back at home right he's not able to travel too much busy teaching the younger generation how to be good at math i know i wish my teacher did the same right would it be cool if your math teacher was out there traveling one of the best character one of the best mains of the character right I wonder. I, I feel like they don't know that he plays Smash. That's a good secret life to live, which is Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have that over people. All right, well, we'll see if Goma can have anything over Gluttony because he's so far doing a pretty solid job trying to keep things even here. All right, this time Gluttony didn't, doing something a little bit different. Um, I like the fact that he sees how aggressive uh, Kome is being with Speed Art. So he kind of backs away here and looking to find the punisher. And this is big damage from up airs. Shield Art going to prevent anything to finish it off here. But I do like the fact that he's understanding, you know, I still get damage from this yeah. overall. Yeah, Gluttony is fine with him switching to Shield Art because he's still keeping him in a bad spot and getting the hits he can. And uh, this is a huge lead already. So close to oh, dying. Oh, oh my no, God. no tech. And it was really, really big risk here because he switched to speed on. Like I said, you have decreased jump height. That'll also affect uh, air slash. Oh, man, a neutral. Air. But uh, yeah, Kome has been, uh, I mean, it's not really his fault. Shulk's recovery doesn't always auto snap the ledge. Or even like, you have to get, get like the perfect angle to even like sweet spot it like that. But uh, yeah, he's missing that quite a bit. And Gluttony's just punching him for it really easily. He's lost like so many stocks of that already. Oh no. He's trying to approach now, but Gluttony, he's just weighing him out really well. I like it looking, he's pretty, pretty patient here. Smash R. If he got oh. the grab, that could have been really good enough knockback to set up for a bigger, a bigger edge guard. Good, good use of empty hop here. He gets a full cross up into the jump art. Waits for the opportunity here. The one thing I do see a little bit different from Kome is he's kind of prone to staying on stage more versus how you usually would see Nico here from SoCal, right? Yeah. He's not afraid to go off stage. A little bit of a counterplay in play styles here. Forward smash okay. and like, like I is. said, it, man, he took oh, the page out of no the book. Way. But oh I, no, that's not worth. Man. Tough trade. This is a really bad trade because he's already down a stock. And again, he's been playing around the weft, but like, Gunny still has it. So yeah. he didn't actually just. Take it sucks so early. I believe it so activates hard. within two minutes too, so you kind of have a two minutes before the counter reaches zero, and then he's got WAP activated. Oh, nice! I like that attack with the bike. Oh, this is snowball damage here. Thirty-nine percent, kind of right at the corner. Gluttony with a lot of advantage here, but immediately we do see Kome fighting for the opportunity. Shield R takes damage and a combo. Good, good tech roll away here. Doesn't want to get caught by a possible tech chase or a reaction from it. Retreats the ledge. Oh, Solid. yeah, free punish. Again, I, overshooting yeah. the ledge. Gladney's like, I know how to punch that every single time. That's my bread and butter right there, man. Gladney going to win his semis. Really strong stuff. Uh, I mean, Kohei did better than I saw earlier, for sure. But 